because I remember a lady like I was in a little business and she mm -hmm. was a part of it and she was I didn't know she was sick you know and I was just browsing through the message that messages and I saw they said that the lady died and I was like what like hearty healthy lady just knock off so mm -hmm. breast cancer because the month of October mm -hmm. all of the month of October is considered breast cancer, cancer awareness, awareness. Right. so we want to shed some light on this um this um disease, um, disease or the sickness yes. or you know the big C mm -hmm. and just let um you guys mostly females well males too but mm -hmm. you know females yes and let you guys know what it's all about and mm -hmm. some little facts and so on about it yes so yes. without further ado remember thank you guys for liking and subscribing and sharing mm -hmm. and supporting throughout this um difficult time because it is yes. <laughs> further ado, well, we are here yeah we are here mm -hmm. And um, without further ado, stay let's tuned. Go into, let's go right, right into the video. All right, guys. So you all must be wondering. Well, you're probably aware, right? What breast, breast cancer is, but um, just a simple definition: breast cancer is a disease, which um, breast cancer is a disease in which the breast cells grow out of control, and there are different kinds of breast cancer, but. They, it all depends on the person because they have some that are more serious, so more advanced than others, some are milder, mm -hmm. so it doesn't affect the person as much. But you have some that are more aggressive, like as a person finds out, it just, mm -hmm. you know, knock them off. Because mm -hmm. I remember a lady, like, I was in a little business and she mm -hmm. was a part of it. And she was, I didn't know she was sick, you know, and I was just browsing through the message in her, messages. And I saw they said that the lady died, and I was like, what? Like, hearty, healthy lady just knock off. So, mm -hmm. And uh, when, I put, when I, you know, did my little investigation, I found out that she had breast cancer. And, uh, I mean, she was like 30-something, probably 33 Oh, I think so. I remember it. Yeah, yeah. and um, it's like, you mean, how are you going to know that without doing a mammogram? mammogram mm -hmm. And they say you should do a mammogram until you're 40. You know, so it's like, you know, exactly. So, trust me, guys. It's so not just give easy. a moment of silence. Yeah, for um, silence. the breast cancer uh, and who have actually have dropped from, out. Yeah, breast yeah. cancer and other diseases. Other okay. diseases. All right, All right guys. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So you're wondering, um, where the pink? Um, yes, this is the color symbolization for breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. It's um, celebrated across the world. Yeah, as yeah. pink. As but pink. you just include the white as a little yeah. <laughs> extra. Yeah, go with the pink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did it have any more uh, pink. pink balloons? So we say we could incorporate, incorporate the white. Of course, yes. yeah. All right, so I'm gonna, we're going to read 10 facts. Um, and I want to stay too long, 10 facts, just to let you guys be aware um, of about breast cancer. So breast cancer occurs almost entirely in women. 99% um, of breast cancer cases occur in women. This means that while breast cancer in men is very rare, it does occur. Of thousands of women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. The American Cancer Society estimates that 252,710 women will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer hmm. in 2017 and not gone. Mm -hmm. There will also be 63,410 new cases of non-invasive breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Now that's, that's a lot. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a it's lot. getting more rampant nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, what can we do? With mm -hmm. the because it's not something that sometimes you don't even know you have it. Because mm -hmm. I have um, one of my cousin's wife, 
she recently, well, I should say probably a year plus now, she found out that she had it. And mm. it's just like, she just feel a little something. Mm -hmm. And she went there and they were saying, I think at the time they were saying she too, probably couldn't do the mammogram at the mm -hmm. time or so. And um, she still pushed through with the mammogram and when they checked it out, it was actually something that was there, you mm -hmm. know, something came to her cells. Mm -hmm. you know, and it was just one thing or something, yeah. you know. So, and it grew up fast. Mm -hmm. And they said that her own is like the powerful one. Wow. You know, so far she had gone because she found out it found it out early, early so they yeah. kind of took a little took action early. Yeah, because so. I know. And she someone. took off both breasts about no one. One at a time. Yeah. I mean, know somebody around here, um, around this community mm -hmm. when I um, mean like few about a month or so or a few months and when mm -hmm. we hear Randy Show say she died. Uh -oh. And she died leaving four young kids under wow. the age of say what? 12 year about 12 years old. Oh, no. so, you know, so, so she was very hard. young. I think she she young, young man, she, she yeah, she's young and then mm -hmm. um I know breast cancer survivor but as I was telling you that it's kinda like more to get the you know, get her to come on board. Right. Because um she did somewhere, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, mm. yeah, but I mean people yeah, people are really survive, yeah, people are really mm -hmm. really drop out. Yeah. So it all depends. If you get it really early. Absolute, uh, my auntie um, very average, but they they recover still and yeah. one of them actually recovered and then afterwards they came back. So you know, wow. it's not something that just go away like mm -hmm. you know, once you get you to watch it. You have to keep watching it, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So me have to watch myself too. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It's, it runs it's in kind of running in my family. Yeah, I remember so yeah. about the cancer cell. Mm. So you know mm -hmm. anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there are over three million diagnosed cases of breast cancer in the United States. And as you know, early detection is key, so just always make sure you follow up with your mama girl and your doctor so that you can, you know, detect it. Detect it early, although they said that mammogram is for like 40 and over mm -hmm. but i don't know if that has changed since but mm -hmm. usually that's what they say but if you follow up with your doctor it kind of helps with you know detecting it early mm -hmm. so a woman's risk for developing breast cancer increases as she gets older which is true um 12 percent of women or one in eight develop breast cancer lifetime breast cancer risk for men is one in one thousand um family history increases your risk that's true a woman's risk for developing breast cancer almost doubles if her mother sister or daughter has breast cancer which is true and we know that, that. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. you can decrease your risk breast cancer cannot be prevented but there, there are things such as the diet, exercise, and other health lifestyle choices that um, can help decrease your risk for developing breast cancer, which is true because we know that. Yeah, man. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle is also important, not just for breast cancer, but for you know maintaining a healthy body. You know, yeah, what it is it in reducing yeah, really the risk? And men also because I mean like we don't really talk much of this for the um for the as we regard to the men because men we always say oh they're they really can, in a they in can, can they say one in one thousand but mm -hmm. it's still high. I've never really heard of a man like no, it's still in a Never yet. But uh, it is it, it is there. possible. <laughs> it is possible. possible. So yeah. yes, men be aware, you know, no matter the laugh and I say that but yes, me. it is possible. <laughs> Yeah, it is. All right, so the symptoms aren't. However, don't assume that you are cancer free because you do not have the typical symptoms. Some some women with breast cancer do not have symptoms at all, as I was saying earlier. So it's not like you're going to feel. Sometimes they said you have different um things like your breast will start draining and mm -hmm, different different mm -hmm. stuff. But some women don't experience those things at all. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. Yeah, you have to just try to make sure you keep up with your doctor to ensure that you are free from breast cancer. Yeah. All right, so mammograms save lives, and they they um help with the reducing the risk and the rate of breast cancer and also the death the death risk. <laughs> mm -hmm. of the cancer mm -hmm. in a sense because and then they must say um also that saying that mammogram have radiation so yes. sometimes radiation plus your sickness yeah, it could exactly. like increase right. the risk but what and sometimes they say that um persons have said and i think doctors have said it too that when time you find out that you have breast cancer that you shouldn't do any mammogram that's what they say yeah it it in a bit, like it doesn't really make sense it, it, yeah. it makes sense it make it more advanced yeah because it's helps with detecting it but may wonder if you know it is 
Yeah, yeah but the chemo, but chemo is there to mm -hmm. help in a sense. But you know, yeah, thank you. So, but um, guys, let me just try to live. See if we can manage to eat, if we live healthy, mm -hmm. have a healthy lifestyle. It's mm -hmm. hard at times because we know that the food price in Ghana, yeah, like weekly, mm -hmm. it's very hard. And yeah. we just have to just see what best we can because even me, me I try to exercise, and every time I mm -hmm. try, it's like me at this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know something we can like we can mm -hmm. follow up. Like that, yeah. But we have to try. But it's, yes. it's good when. Get to clean at least maybe three times for the week or so. Mm -hmm. You have to be every day. Yeah, yeah reduce the intake of some three. fatty stuff and Minimum so on, three. you know? Yeah. Fatty stuff and so on. Mm -hmm. Um, I will and try. Them. Yeah, and the sweets, thank and you. Beauty. Sugary, yeah. Well, I'm gonna try mm -hmm. to leave um uh how to test at home mm -hmm. your breast oh, breast yeah. examination the link, the link. Mm -hmm. I will I will leave it in the description yeah. and I might leave it at the end of the video also mm -hmm. just to show you how you um check for any lungs or anything yeah. um as regards to um breast, breast cancer, cancer at home because mm -hmm. you can do your self examination breast self examination mm -hmm. all right and that's what saves some women too of course you know but then to cause me there I'm mean, not getting my friends and then I like to have something mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. I'm afraid mm -hmm. and I don't know if if you guys can, if anyone of you out there can relate, but I'm afraid to talk about things like these. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a fearful. sensitive topic. It's very now. sensitive. Yeah, I'm kind of get yeah. But we say, you know what? Let me just put it out there and let, let us aware ourselves. Me and I, Mary, if you see me at touch, <laughs> if you see me the other day, I touch and I feel. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, guys. All right, guys. So, some ways to reduce the risk of breast cancer are. Maintaining a healthy diet, mm -hmm. exercising daily or regularly, each evening two times um, for the week, mm -hmm. and also avoiding the, the consumption of alcohol and avoid smoking also. And stress, mm -hmm. reduce your stress, try your best to reduce your stress mm -hmm. level. Yeah, watch a, TV, watch a movie yeah. or listen to a Yeah, mm -hmm. or meditation or something. Walk, so. something. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. So we hope you learned a little something about breast cancer. And you can always check out um go on Google and you know just mm -hmm. browse Find and check it out. Yeah, for the symptoms also. and those things. We didn't mention that, but we can also look at that to see you know because us women we need to be knowledgeable of it. And the male also so that you can help your female, your wife, mm -hmm. you know, or your girlfriend mm -hmm. if you notice certain things happening that weren't happening before. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we have to just be aware. Yes. Yes, guys. Yes. So without further ado, let's just say proper and stay strong. Bye, Bye. guys.